There's this unique kind of challenge that we walk through too as Christ followers. You know the story of Jesus washing the disciples' feet? He does this incredible act of compassion and selfless love, and he gets up from the table, this great act of humility. He says, I want you to go and do likewise. I want you to love each other like this. A little bit later, he says, your love for one another will prove to the world that you're my disciples. So we live in this reality. Okay, God, you wanna love others through me. You, th- this is this call, this command that you've given us. This is what you wanna do. You wanna love others. It's what you wanna do through me. The problem is, oftentimes, we can confuse the call to love with the disease to please. We confuse the things that God is calling us to, the moments of love and compassion that he wants to do through us with actually things where we say yes to pleasing another person. There are things that people will come and ask of something or will see something and will think, oh, that's something I should do. But really the motive behind it isn't God leading you and you walking in obedience, it's you're looking for validation. You wanna feel better about yourself by serving that person. You're in the flesh and you're people pleasing. And it's so easy to confuse the two. It's so easy to get caught up in this where it's like, oh my gosh, this isn't even an act of love or or compassion. This is just me people pleasing. And when I do that, I'm not even ministering to people anymore. You know what I'm doing? I'm manipulating them. I'm trying to feel better about myself. So I'm doing things for people so they'll like me so I feel better about myself. Myself. 